So it's a dairy farm foremost. To me it's special because I've put my blood into it, obviously to own it and uh, maintain it, but also it's special because it's a very small farm. I've diversified in other income streams to try and keep the farm in the family. I try and grow them close together to force them for the light. They just, where they go, up into the air. And These trees uh, uh, piqued my imagination when I found out 10 years and then I could harvest them and uh, sell timber. These trees are Polonia, to be precise, Polonia elongata. They uh, originate from China and they're, uh, they use them for timber there and that's what we're doing with them here. Yeah, the cows uh, absolutely love the leaves off the trees and the bark, so when I always prune the trees when the cows are in the paddock and normally do that through February, March when grass is at its shortest and they, there's a massive amount of feed there growing here that I can supply the cows with. For every one hectare of trees, there's 10 tonnes of leaves. Some are expert at peeling that bark off the ranch. Oh, the cows absolutely love it in the shade, so they'll go out and pick a grass back into the shade again and they, so they regulate their body temperatures because cows are a ruminant. Ruminants create heat in their rumen from uh, digestion, so the bacteria working actually create artificial heat for them, which they cannot disperse easily. The change of government changed the flavour towards trees. Now on flavour of the day, whereas before people looked over the fence and said, well, he's crazy with all those trees, now I'm the man. I, went, I did it for my own satisfaction. When I saw the benefits, I became a disciple.